Hi everyone, I'm Josie. Welcome to another Species Spotlight. Today our spotlight is on the bay rum tree. Now bay rum trees are a tropical evergreen. What that means is it grows in the tropics and it's evergreen. It's green all year round. They're a member of the myrtle family and they get really, really big. Now this guy, he looks kind of tall. He's obviously way taller than me, but honestly, these trees can get 20 to 40 feet tall. That's a pretty big tree. So this is probably kind of a mid-level example. Um, they're related to the allspice tree. So if you pluck the leaf of a bay rum and crush it, mm, it gives off a fragrance that has hints of cinnamon and cloves. So almost kind of a holiday kind of smell to it. Now in the spring and into summer, the bay rum tree will develop white flowers in clusters and then they'll develop black fleshy oval fruits. They look similar to a black olive but you do not want to eat these uh, fruits because they're toxic. Um, the oils, the fruits, the flowers of the bay rum tree are toxic when ingested. However, they are sometimes used for medicinal purposes. For example, kind of like a liniment or something, if you've heard of that, rubbing it on a muscle ache or sprain. Um, the other thing they're used for is, is fragrances, like colognes. In fact, that is how this tree got its name. They took the oil from the tree and distilled it in a mixture of rum and water. And that's how it became the bay rum tree. Now, once again, I mentioned that these trees are tropical. They grow only in tropical and subtropical environments. They are native to the Caribbean, Northern South America, and parts of Venezuela. They're not native to the Keys, strangely. However, it's suspected that they were brought here either for medicinal purposes or maybe just aesthetics because it is a good looking tree. And people might have just said, hey, this is a pretty tree and I'd like to have it in my yard. Um, a primary propagator of the bay rum tree is birds. However, they can also regenerate from a stump. So if this tree was cut down, but the stump was left with the roots, it actually could regenerate from that stump and become another tree. They can get pretty old. Bay rum trees can live up to 50 years. Individual trees have been known to live that long. Um, in the wild, they're harvested for essential oils, usually. Um, those are used in essential oils. A lot of people use essential oils. And also for medicinal purposes, again, as I explained. Um, the oils actually from the bay rum tree also have antibacterial properties, which is really interesting, especially given the fact that when ingested, they're toxic. Um, if you'll notice, the tree is kind of, it's really, this example is thin. This is a younger tree but it can get pretty big. And the bark is interesting because instead of being rough, it's a smooth bark, but it peels like paper, as you can see. So it has a really interesting look to it. Now there is one variety of the bay rum tree. It is not this one, but there's a variety called the lemon bay rum. And that bay rum emits a really strong lemon fragrance that's said to promote relaxation. So the next time you're looking for a beautiful tree to sit in the shade of and relax. Maybe try looking for a bay rum tree. Well, that's all I have today. So thanks for joining us for Species Spotlight. See you next time.